the remains of an ancient civilization. Ruins that date back more than 2,000 years. They are smaller than the pyramids of Egypt. Some are just six meters high. Even so, the pyramids of Bargawia are a legacy of a kingdom that once conquered Egypt and left behind the legend of the black pharaohs. Around 40 kings and queens were buried here. Each pyramid belongs to one person. The entrance is built facing the east. Some have two or three rooms, one for the body, the other for water, and the third for gold or treasure. They are about five to eight meters deep. The pyramids of Bergawia are steeper than their Egyptian counterparts, though the symbols carved within are similar. And just like the pyramids in Egypt, they've been plundered through the ages. Back in the 1830s, an Italian explorer actually used explosives to crack open 40 of them in his quest for the gold and silver within. There's been little restoration work since then. While the pyramids of Sudan remain historically significant, they are a forgotten treasure and are yet to attract tourist numbers like similar historical structures around the world. Sometimes we can get 50, 40, 20 or even 15 visitors in a month. Other times we can stay for even three days without anyone coming. It's very hard, especially now with this weather. The first six to eight months of the year are very hot and people stay away. This father and daughter are first-time visitors and they are Sudanese. There is a big problem in advertising our history because I didn't know about them until I went to college and they taught me about it but like um, they're not really good taken care of. I don't know, people don't like uh, appreciate them as the Egyptians did. Any tourist would need to be pretty dedicated to come here. Three hours north of Khartoum, there are fewer even basic facilities. Even so, Bargawia is a marvel, a reminder of what our ancestors could achieve. And for modern day Sudan, what should be a source of national pride? Jane Keo, CCTV, Bargawia, Sudan.